So many times I thought you'd leave me Broken inside, I feel I've lost my sanity I don't believe in happy endings Bottom of heart and hope you'd still love me in the end post on Facebook and it says that the horse that they're riding goes kind of into a fast walk when they're asking him to do a slow relaxed walk and they asked what do you do to slow your horse down a lot of people said half halt um, if you have a horse that's super speedy and doesn't like to listen I feel like half halts just kind of uh, on some horses it can work, but on others it's kind of like a nagging parent. Like, all you're doing is ticking them off and a lot of horses will throw their heads and bite them. Now if it works, that's great. This video is not for you. This is for the people who it doesn't work for. Okay, if you guys go back and watch my videos of Rose and Skyla, there's a playlist of Rose and Skyla. I don't remember the title of the video. But Skyla and Rose were the type of horses that if you gave them a loose rein, they kind of just took off. So what you can do is you can do this in a round pen, or you can do this out on the trail, or you can even do it in a big open field. Whatever one your horse is, um, whichever one your horse is better at or you're most comfortable with is the one you're going to do. So what you're going to do, it doesn't matter if they're walking, trotting, or cantering. If you can't ride them on a loose rein with them being relaxed, you're going to either go in a straight line, you can do zigzags, or what I like to personally do is circles, because they have to, I feel like they have to pay more attention in a circle, and they can't drop their shoulder in and all that stuff, because if they do, they'll lose their balance. So I feel like they have to focus and pay more attention. You can do this over logs. So what you're going to do is you're going to put them on a loose line and you're going to ask them like you would if you were slowing them down. Hey, slow down. Okay, you're going to give them one time. If they don't slow down, say that they slow down when you pick up the reins and as soon as you give them the rein back, they're, they're speeding up again. What I personally, personally like to do is canter them in circles. Um, in the beginning, Rose and Skyla, when we did this, they sped up more. So this is why I did it in a round pen in an enclosed area. Because there's not really a chance of them really getting too much out of control because it's an enclosed area. So what you're going to do is you're just going to canter them. As soon as that horse starts to drop their pace, you're going to go a good, say, for the first time, probably a lap. Um, if you have to continue to do it, I would wait an extra lap each time to get the point across that they're going to have to keep working. You're going to wait until they relax and go to a nice, easy gait. And you're going to give them a loose rein when they do that. Now, if they speed up, keep them going. Keep them moving until you can loosen that rein without them speeding up. If they stay at that steady, easy pace, keep the loose rein. If they slow down, kick them back up into the canter. After about a lap or two or however many you feel comfortable with them doing relaxed, uh, sit back in your seat and ask them to stop and go back into the previous gate that you were in. If it was a canter, if it was um, a trot or a walk, and put them on a loose line. And you can, and this is under saddle. And if they're nice and quiet, let them just walk or do that gait and catch their breath. If as soon as you ask them to slow down and you give them a loose line, they speed up again, kick their ass right back into that canter and make them haul around. So we're gonna go off today and we're gonna do my slow down exercise that it's cantering loping whatever you would like to call it circles until the horse starts to get a hard workout or until you feel the horse is responsive and we're gonna start loping circles so we're gonna start off and we're also gonna see me um doing some one rein stops at a canter and again that is for flexing and softening your horse
I hope you guys enjoyed that demonstration. That was about a year ago, a little over a year ago. Um, and uh, the reason I got after Skyla really tough right there about towards the end was she tried to kind of to we were doing it so much and we were doing it for a different reason to build up stamina and she was used to kind of cantering a couple circles and then turning go the other way a couple circles so she tried to turn so when I pulled her over she kind of it's really it happens fast um when I pulled her back the way I wanted her to go she kind of took her shoulder and kept going the way she wanted that's why I got after her so that's what I would do in this situation and um obviously I would continue to do it for more and for longer until they relax but I was doing it just to build up her stamina and just to get her to kind of pay attention to practice her one way and stops and things like that so I hope this video helps and let me know in the, in the comments did it help you and your horse slow down or not all right bye guys